Prepare your lead strips. The connection points of the wires to the LED strip should be insulated securely, for example, with the help of heat shrink tubes. All red wires from your LED strips or fixtures connected to the positive contact, connect together. In the future, they should be directly connected to the positive contact of the DC source. Make sure there is no closure. Turn on each lamp one by one to make sure everything is properly connected and working. All negative wires from luminaires or LED strips should be connected to the corresponding controller outputs. Prepare them and put on them insulating heat shrinkable tube. If you use other methods of connection via terminals or terminal boxes, follow the instructions of your connecting equipment. Take the controller. Strip the amount of wires you need from the insulation equal to the number of steps. Carefully insulate the other wires and fold them. The minimum required number of stair lights is 4. Maximum is 26. Prepare the wires of the outputs of the controller channels you need. Remove the insulation from the wires, if this is required for connection. Insulate unused wires of the outlets, and carefully push them in so that they do not interfere. Connect the wire of your first step to the output of out 01, the wire of your last step to the exit of out 26. Wires from your 2, 3, 4 and so on the steps, connect to the outputs out 02, out 03, out 04, respectively. Insulate the wire connection, connect the plus wires from the luminaires to a DC power source. In the future, to test and demonstrate the system, we will use a special indicator to test 26 steps. The indicator has 26 separate wires connected to the negative contact of the LED strips. The common wire is connected to the positive contacts of the LED strips and we connect it directly to the positive contact of the power source. Please note that the power of one luminaire is 400 mA or 4.8 watts at a voltage of 12 volts. Using more power will damage the system. After connecting the wires to your luminaire, check that the connection is correct. Click the down button. The light should turn on from the first step to the last. Click up to turn off. Then press the up button. The light should turn on from the last step to the first. Press the down button to turn off. Make sure that the power of the lamp of one step does not exceed the recommended 400 mA for lamps or LED strips 12 volts DC. The power is not more than 5 watts, for to power 24 volts DC lamps, not more than 10 watts. At this the most difficult and responsible stage of the connection is completed. If everything worked out for you and the system works well, we will move on to connecting the sensors and setting up the system. Next, we will look at how to set up the system and how the system works by the example of using a standard kit with two pyroelectric sensors. Attention! Do not forget before any connection or disconnection of wires to the system, be sure to turn off the power of the system.
Connect the red wires of the sensors to the plus 5 volts output. Connect the green wire of the sensor installed above near the step connected to output 26 to the digital input up, and connect the green wire of the sensor installed below near the step connected to the output out 01 to the input down. Connect the black wires of the sensors to the common wire from a DC power source. Connect DC power. Pyroelectric sensors require from 30 to 90 seconds to warm up. At this time there are several spontaneous inclusions of the system. Sensors at this time do not respond to movement. Check the operation of the system with the sensors connected. Please, when connecting, follow the wire requirements described in the user manual. Pyroelectric sensors are not very demanding on the length and quality of the wires. But still it is worth using a shielded twisted pair not lower than the sixth grade. Since if the sensor wires are laid next to the power wires, this can cause interference and interference in the wires, as a result of which you can have extraneous currents in the sensor wires, which can cause erroneous inclusions of the light of the steps. Connect the output VCC of the sensor to the output plus 5 volts of the controller, the output ground to the output V, connect the output of the sensor do to the input of the controller photo sensor. The light sensor has no housing. It is designed for hidden installation under the elements of decor. For example, under the plinth, door lining or window frame. For the sensor to work, it is enough to bring the photocell out through a hole with a diameter of 6 to 8 mm. The sensitivity level of the sensor is adjusted using a trimmer resistor. Do not install the sensor near your staircase, as the light from the steps may cause the sensor to turn off the system. And now we deactivate the sensor and turn it off so that it does not interfere with the demonstration of the system settings. To enter the settings menu you need to click the setup button. The power indicator blinks once. This means that you are in the first menu item. Change the values for each item by pressing the up and down keys. After successively selecting all seven menu items, the system will write the selected parameters into memory and exit the settings menu. 
Activate or deactivate the light level sensor. Yellow indicator on. Sensor is active. Indicator off. Sensor is not active. Item 2 of the menu allows you to select the number of steps you need. Use the up and down buttons. The system is supplied tuned to 26 steps. If you use less than 26 steps and have not chosen the number of steps corresponding to yours, when you turn on and off the light, you will have a delay between turning on and off the last and penultimate steps. Customize. Adjust the brightness of the first and last steps in standby mode from 0 to 100%. Use the up and down buttons. If you want the first and last steps to be off in standby mode, simply set the brightness in this menu item to 0. Setting the speed of inclusion. Use the up and down buttons. With such speed you will turn on the lights of the steps. The shutdown speed of luminaires will be twice as fast. Setting the delay to shutdown. One blink of a step is equal to a delay within 5 seconds. Two blink is 10 seconds. The seventh menu item allows you to select the type of sensors used and calibrate the ultrasonic sensors. To select the type of sensors you need to consistently press the down button. If the green and blue LEDs are off, this means that both sensors are pyroelectric. The green LED is on, the lower ultrasonic sensor, and the upper pyroelectric. The blue LED is on, the upper ultrasonic sensor and the lower pyroelectric. Green and blue LEDs are on. Both are ultrasonic sensors. Changing the values is done by pressing the button down. Now we turn off both LEDs, which means that we use pyroelectric sensors. In the same menu item, the ultrasonic sensors are calibrated using the up button. This procedure is described in separate videos, the link to which is in the description. To complete the settings, you need to press the setup button one more time. To save the selected settings and exit the menu, press the setup button once more. The system will exit the settings menu. Also, if you set up the type of sensors used, you need to turn off the system and turn it on again. Press and hold down plus up plus setup buttons. The power indicator will flash. Release the setup button, but keep holding down down plus up until the indicator flashes quickly. Successful reset indicator power will turn on constantly. Turn off and power on the system. Reset done.
Now I will tell you how to connect ultrasonic sensors. The connection of the light sensor is shown at the beginning in the connection section of pyroelectric sensors and the same. Consider only changes in settings that are relevant for ultrasonic sensors. Ultrasonic sensors are already configured for 80 centimeters wide stairs up to 1 meter. Calibration of ultrasonic sensors is shown in a separate video, the link to which is indicated in the description under the video. The kit you purchased comes pre-configured and tested with your type of sensor. You can see this in the video verification and packaging of the order, which is providing to you after sending the order. But if for some reason you have changed the type of sensors used, then make the settings in step 7 of the settings menu, as shown. Ultrasonic sensors are designed to identify obstacles at a distance of 10 to 120 centimeters. Connect the sensors should be wired no longer than 10 meters. Wires should use twisted pair cable not lower than 6th grade. The green wire is connected to the input top motion sensor or bottom motion sensor, respectively. For the upper and lower sensors, the yellow wire of the upper sensor is connected to the input A0 echo. The yellow wire of the lower sensor to the input A2 echo. Red wires to the output plus 5 volts, black wires to the terminal of the DC power source V, G and D. Ultrasonic sensors do not require time to warm up and are ready to work immediately. Ultrasonic sensors measure the distance to the obstacle. They constantly compare the distance to the obstacle with the value stored in the memory. If the distance decreases by more than 10 centimeters less than the value recorded in the memory, the controller turns on the light. Therefore, if your sensors are installed incorrectly and see the floor or wall or other obstacle, then you will encounter the problem of constant spontaneous switching. In this case, remove the sensors and ensure proper installation. I recommend to perform test installations before stationary installation of sensors. Also note that the technology of ultrasonic rangefinders may not allow them to work properly if they have eaten an obstacle made of sound absorbing material. Also, do not install the sensors one opposite the other. This may lead to incorrect operation since the ultrasonic signal from one sensor may interfere with the other. In detail all the features of ultrasonic sensors are described in the user manual. The kit you purchased comes pre-configured and tested with your type of sensor. You can see this in the video verification and packaging of the order, which is providing to you after sending the order. But if for some reason you have changed the type of sensors used, then make the settings in step 7 of the settings menu, as shown. Thank you for choosing our products and watching this video. If you have any additional questions, you can always ask us by email. There is also a lot of additional information on the product page on eBay and on our website shop. Zopk.net UA. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube and you will always know the latest news. Goodbye.